Hey guys, you know what time it is. It's the Whiskey Show by Pooh Ed Johnson. Today we're looking at the Craig Alecky 13. Now check out this bottle. That's got to be the best bottle of all time that we've ever seen. Um, or at least the best label on a bottle. Built on a rocky bluff situated above the confluence of the River Fiddick and the River Spey, Craig Gallagher lies in the heart of Speyside. 1891. Worm tubs. Looks like a special thing that they make them in worm tubs. So, according to Ralphie, shout out Ralphie. This is like more and more getting on the radar of Scotch heads. Craig Gallicky represented a style of whiskey seldom met with now, which we took as a compliment. Today we still use old fashioned worm tubs to cool our spirit and bestow it with extra flavour, creating a drown to rival whiskeys twice its age. So I'm actually not going to look at notes this episode. Usually I go look for notes and see if I can, you know, identify what other people have smelt or tasted. This time we're going in blind. So uh, what's the colour like? Uh, it's fairly darkish, not too dark. Middle of the road type thing. Okay, very light. Light and sweet. Ooh. With a marshmallowiness to it. Definitely. Yeah, light and fruity. Ooh, what is that? I think it's pineapple or oh, man mango. Oh, it tastes like a mango smoothie. That's very interesting. If you put this to my nose, I would have thought it was some smoothie and I, if I didn't know what it was. Yeah, it's like mango lassi, really. Very good. Mmm, that's a nose. That's a good nose. Oh, it's very sugary sweet. Like a marshmallowiness to it. It's beautiful. There's a slight spice to it, I think. Let's go in for the kill. Interesting. Interesting. Mm. So it's light and it's fruity. But there's definitely this sort of chard. <clears throat> Note, you know, it's really good. It's very nice.
It's very, very nice. I think I prefer this to the Adbeg Yu-Gi-Oh! Yu-Gi-Oh! Dale! Roll Dial! Yu-Gi-Oh! Dial! Which I expected to like a lot. And I do like, but... Um, not, so, not as much as I thought I would. But this... It almost remind, it has this sort of mustiness that reminds me of uh, Glen Marangi, I think, or Glen Fit, Glen Livet, one of the Glens of the Glenverse. Mmm. 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 Wow. <clears throat> There's a strange note there that's like... Slightly licorice or like... Medicinal. You know what I'm talking about, you know. Hmm. Yeah, there's like some sort of lemon throat pastel. Which I heard Ralphie describe it as something similar. Or licorice -y, or... Just a bit of a tangy bitter note that's good. I'm going to get some water in on the action. Be right back, guys. Here we go, guys. Honestly, that could be one I could spend a lot of time with. That could be a new favorite of mine. It's a unique character. It is. <clears throat> Mm, that's opened up a more floral sweetness to it. Definitely more sweet now. Ooh, the spicier spiciness coming through. Ripe, very uh, ripe. Fruit and spice. Wow. I went down like a treat. <clears throat> and you had that water to it. So I just took every all the flavors and pull it back a bit. Mmm, a lovely finish. Really, really good finish. That um, it is. There is bitterness to it, and it's very good. Um.
it's 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 dead good. <clears throat> it's really really good. <clears throat> I like it more. Um, I think I like it more than the Ardbeg Yugdale, and maybe better than the, the Glen Grant. So it's as good as the Buna Harbin Twelve. It's definitely a new, a new favorite of mine that because of its uniqueness <coughs> and the finish. Not all, not all whiskies have such a strong finish that you can sit there afterwards and just feel it and be like, I can still taste it and it's, there's this charred aftertaste in your mouth. I think it's a bit nutty as well. Mm hmm a bit peanutty as well. Now this is now this is from the blend because I added it to the blend, and I'm just trying to see <clears throat> can we identify it from the blend? What's this like, the Craig Alki, in the blend? Hmm. <clears throat> wow. So there's a dark. I'm I'm just giving it as dark. Heavy. Um, smokiness mixed with all kinds of fruits that are tingling away, you know, <clears throat> popping up now and then. And this sort of bed of dark smokiness and maltiness, creamy and smoky, with like fruits, different kind of fruits popping up left, right, and center. Mm. <coughs> mm. Mm. Strongly oaky and peaty. <coughs> it's like an oak bum that. Mm. Yeah, it's very, very musty and oaky. Very good. <clears throat> and smoky fish as well. Awesome. Craig Alkey, 10 out of 10. I'm really, really interested to get to know it more. <clears throat> mm. Spicy, marshmallowy, great stuff. <clears throat> like, comment, subscribe. Hit that like button. Smash that like button. Subscribe. Bye.